welcome back to our youtube channel if it's your first time hi welcome um please do subscribe and um hit the notification button and also comment down below if you have any questions if you have anything that you would like to ask us that is like you know a bit confidential and anything you can like email us we will put our email down below and yeah let's get started so what's gonna happen today oh this is diesel so what's gonna happen today is that i'll be going through the cpt application form cpt if you don't know it's um a technicon in in the western cape it's called the cape peninsula cape peninsula university of technology um and if you if you understand the policies of the higher education is that you get your TVET colleges, you get your technicons and your universities. Now what you get in technicons is um you can do a diploma and then add another extra year to do your um degree and you can do your masters and everything. So we're gonna get started. So what you do is that I want you to go to just say CPT, type on Google Chrome, Safari, or wherever, whatever you have access to, and then say CPT application form. Go to the one that says CPT.ac.za. Go to that website. It's gonna take you to the university website, and then you go to the application now. It's at the bottom. Sorry, I don't have those steps here. And then you're going to be here on the steps part. That's where you apply. Now, step one, two, and three is mainly about, you know, they just explain the manual part of it. Like, you know, how you have to know your course, you know, choose a course wisely, know what course you want. And where the application form actually starts is at step four. So go to step four. You go to the here part, which is in blue. You click on here. And then you go down, down, down. You go to the undergraduate application form. Undergraduate just means that you don't have any form of certificate. Like you want to start from scratch. You don't have a diploma. You don't have a high certificate. You don't have a degree. So you're trying to get that now. Now, these are just the rules, um, you know. And if you know, if you're from a click, that means that you're an undergraduate. So go to undergraduate. And then um, there's a part where they tell you about the application fee. Very important, guys. The application is 100 Rand. But I know that people from Quantel 1, 2, and 3 don't have to pay it. But that's in Stellenbosch. So I'll ask the SRC over there if that's also... Um, so please do email me if you don't have the money. And we will sort it out with the SRC in CPUT. We'll just... Um, inform them but if you do those are the banking details and you can just um yeah send the money to them and then um the rules of the application form is that the red part you do not fill in the red part is for the university people you just do the blue parts so if you've applied before in cpt and have a student number you fill that in first and you just say that you've applied before and then um you fill in your details your date of birth your I don't know why I say that's agenda, your sex. Um, and then comes your career choices. There's three choices that you can choose. Guys, open the prospectus because that's very important here to understand what you're applying for. And I don't know how, I mean, I just want to stress this part to you guys is that you need to be sure that you qualify for what you're applying for. So, yes, Anna, you go through this prospectus, understand what you want to see. You know, if it's what you really want and just see if you qualify for it. So they use the APS method to measure if you qualify for a thing. Now, what the APS, how they do it is that they add all your percentages. You know, if you got a 50% for maths, you know, they add that and add your 60% for English, except for LO. So you add everything except for LO and then you divide it by 10 regardless of how many subjects you had if you had six subjects you still divide them by 10 so you add everything you divide by 10 and you see if it lies within that so most of them are around 30s so just see if you are there and then you say full time and then if you if you're applying for nursing you have to specify which type banil and does a health care you know they have different types of it occupationally what what and then yeah so you just say which one you want i'm just trying to look for that i don't know what's happening with me right now 
So yeah, you just specify. And also they ask you about your campus. CBT has got like, I think about four or five campuses around the Western Cape. So at the bottom of the application form, not the prospectors, this is the prospectors application form. At the bottom, they have a part where they say where a career is, you know, so where, where your course is situated. So you go at the bottom and you check the the campus and then the red part you leave then down here they ask you about you know the period of studying you know if you want to apply for a residence say yes or no um your period of study okay i don't think anyone can predict that but you can just say the minimum amount of years that they say at the prospectus and then if you've been if you are at the university or been to the university before do say over there that you where you were if you want to transfer and then you're going to need your academic record from your previous university or your current university and then you fill in your personal contact details these are very important guys you need to have an email address an active one because that's where they're going to communicate with you guys let's say every university communicates with you and you're going to get your information like in terms of progress um with the application then your high school um information you know exam number okay but i think that's for people who've been in high school so if you are in matric already because at the moment no one who's currently in matric has their exam number so that's for people who were in matric and then um international applicants you fill in the details what international applicants means is just people who are from outside south africa so even around africa they do consider you as an international student so people from namibia zim anywhere outside south africa lesotho you are international and then they want to know where you heard about the university um your disability status that's also very important you fill it in and then they um also want a brief description um about that and then um that's where you then before you do the declaration form you have the financial aid very very important guys you're going to go to the nasfus application you need to apply for NASFIS. whatever you do apply for nasfus a cool part is that they have this part where you click on the www.nasfus thing and it goes straight to the nasfus um website which is so cool then you can apply and then this declaration form just literally means that you whatever you wrote on top it's the truth and nothing but the truth and then you scroll down then you have your residence application form um you apply for that and then you also sign again and then at the bottom like i told you guys before these are this is the information about um you know the campuses where things are situated um so that they know which campus you want to go to and then this is where the part the tricky part comes now i didn't tell you this but this application form you have to print it i think you guys could see it's not like a online application like the way thick thick details so you have to actually um print this form and then you 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 post it to the addresses so if you are you create it or you go to the post office to send it you see so there are the addresses so if you're applying for the Belleville campus you send it to the Belleville campus if you are Cape Town Mowbray yeah you send it to all those campuses um and yeah so you print it you you make sure you go to the post to the post office and you send it to them and then step five or six i think between step five and six is about you know doing follow-ups you need to call them make sure they receive your application form you know so that you can be sure by they got it and you are you know being considered and then here is just a checklist of things that you just need to um make sure you have you know and yeah then you're good to go so basically just check if everything is done correctly since this is not like an online application you have to monitor yourself so they just say here have you filled in all the sections have you ensured that you meet the minimum requirements very important if you don't they won't take you guys have you signed the legal um declaration information um if you are under 18 have you obtained your parents guidance signatures have you um included original proof of payment 
um, and they say it's non-refundable, that that um, application fee, if you wish to be considered a place in residence, have you completed the resident form, um, have you pro provided contact details, have you um, provided your ID, passport certified within three months, very important guys, supporting documents, do not forget your supporting documents, Have you? if you are still in grade 12, you submit your grade 11, your final grade leaving your December, what you got last year, December, you um you 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 certify that you give a copy of that and you certify it. Um, if you are if you already if you already have your grade twelve, then you need to give your statement also certified. If you are already a student in a high institution, um, then you have to give your academic record. Um, if you have completed a qualification in another institution, if now you're doing a post grad. Um, then you also need to give your um, certificate, okay? If you've completed, um, I think this is for occupational therapy, they have something else. If you are an um, international student, then you give your passport or your refugee permit, or they normally give you like a study permit if you're here to study. And yeah. That's just the important things, you guys. Make sure you submit those. And then finally, before we close, I just wanted to inform you guys that I have a friend who's working on a project which is very, very beautiful. So what they do is that they have volunteers in each and every institution and they help you guys apply for universe. So they physically apply for you guys. So some people, not everyone has data. So if you know someone who's struggling with data or can't apply, you know, due to um, measures that are beyond their, like, yeah, just someone who's like in a tight position, just tell them to um, inbox um, this organization on Facebook if they're on free Facebook or if they're on um, social tickets they can actually um, you know inbox them or DM them that's how you guys say it nowadays so just DM the people with your details make sure you have an active email address because that's where the university is going to give you the response um, and they will apply for you so all you do is just DM them very trustworthy, good organization. They've been applying for people throughout the year. So you DM them if you have difficulties. DM them if you if you don't have data to apply. And they have a volunteer in each and every university that's there to help your matrix or people who want to come into university. And yeah, then you're good to go. Thank you so, so much, guys for um listening or watching the video and please go and subscribe and like and also comment if you have any questions and yeah just give us like feedback how do you feel about the video what do you want to see you know j man but thank you so much